What's going on everybody? So today's video is going to be of the new car I got. It is a 94 Civic. And the Mustang project is kind of getting pushed back because of this. Uh, I kind of needed a daily, but then I found this. and I mean, it's an okay daily, but I spent the money for the turbo kit for the Mustang on this thing, which was good and bad, but at least I got something to drive now. Um, yeah, we'll do a little walk around here. I had all of these wheels. I only have two of the silver ones, like the front. But I have four of these ones, and I had the two on the front, but they just blew out like last week, so I put these ones back on. So, oh, uh, these mirrors, I don't really like them. I mean, it's broken right here, but I'm gonna get some stock ones to throw on there. Uh, not really too bad of rust. This is the good side. Nothing major. Uh, don't mind that it is pretty dirty right now. I hate Ohio, but that's what it is. In the back, I don't know if you can see, but it's a little brace bar. Here's the rust on this side. Yeah, it's not terrible, but I'd like it to be fixed. We'll see what I do in the future, though. I uh, also need headlights, like the little turn signal light covers. But I got all new stuff coming. I got a bunch of parts coming for this thing, so stay on the lookout for videos. Inside, I uh, don't mind. It's pretty dirty in here. But... Uh, these are not actual Type R seats, they're just covers. Um, the back, like everything from the seats, driver's seats back, has gutted. I mean, it's still got the rear seats in it, but that's it. And there's that little brace bar and stuff. Dash lights don't work, they used to have a gauge here but these are my dash lights now so this little button just turns those on it's better than nothing uh we got a boost gauge the light's not working but it does work and the am afr gauge which works uh this is all skunk 2 it's a weighted shift knob and uh, Speedo doesn't work, everything else works, so this is why I use my phone right here for the speed. Uh, door handles, those broke off, and they kind of just stripped, but I ordered new ones, so those are on the way. Uh, let's see, I guess I'll show you under the hood here. Uh, really, I haven't had many problems with the car for a daily. I drove it about 2,500 miles now, and really the only thing that's broken on it was first the clutch um, trigger thing, like where you push on the clutch pedal to start it. It was acting up, so I had to hot wire it and then just, you know, make it like that. So you can start it without pushing the clutch in, and then forget what other problems all the battery terminals lose connection it was i don't know my car is doing all sorts of crazy stuff so i went and got new battery terminals put those on and it's nice and good now um and then yeah just the tires that blew out which were kind of my fault because all the burnouts and everything <laughs> but other than that i mean it's been a pretty good daily so here i'll open the hood up for you 
kind of just stick your hand in here. The latch pops up. Oh, it's got these little hood spacers on it. So here's the it's a B18 B1 uh, non VTEC. It's got the GSR tranny. And um, yeah, don't worry, it's pretty dirty in here from the hole in the hood, but it is. Uh, I need a new manifold and stuff. I'm gonna get this downpipe, I'm gonna get it sticking back out the hood because why not? Um, I'm planning on getting a new turbo because, as you can see, there's quite a bit of blow by. Um, it's a nice size turbo though for this setup. But uh, yeah, I need a catch can too. I tried putting this one on here, but it didn't really work out, so I'm still waiting on that. That's why there's oil really everywhere. But once I get that, it will be pretty good. I just gotta keep adding oil to her. Uh, it doesn't burn much, really. But, yep, the wastegate dumps out the hood. I don't know what kind of wastegate that is or anything. But, yeah, not too bad. It's on 13 pounds right now. The dude that I bought it off of said it was making like 275 wheel, 250, 275 wheel, but who knows. He said he had a dyno too, or he had it dynoed, but it's on a base map right now. It's tuned on chrome, I believe, but not too bad of a car really. I mean, it's my first Civic. I always really wanted one just to mess around in. know what else here. Uh, it does have some I forget what it was it has port mounts and radiator stuff so it's got some good little things here's the new battery terminal that I put on this one this positive battery terminal was the one that was really messed up uh, it's got I'm planning on getting a different intercooler it's got the little slim one on it It'll get there slowly. Get a new hood, get that latch fixed, and everything. So it's just gonna be a process. Uh, the Mustang's not getting totally shut down. I'm definitely gonna keep putting stuff into that, and I'm probably just gonna put it back to stock. Well, not really stock, but just put it back together so I can drive it, put the new clutch in and stuff, and then I can just kind of daily and cruise that thing until I get some money to turbo it and do what I want with it. But for now, this is a nice little beater. So, yep. Um, definitely more videos coming soon on this thing. I got a whole bunch of parts coming for it. So stay on the lookout for more videos. I know I've been slacking on it, but uh, a lot of videos coming soon. Just really the weather is what's putting me off. I hate this Ohio weather. Thanks for watching everyone, uh, if you could hit that subscribe button, help me out.